morning, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday morning at 8.38, and this is your pre-opening comment for, as I said, Wednesday morning. It's also video number 712, so please, if you enjoy the work as much as I enjoy doing it for you, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so big news, Coinbase coming today, uh, valued at $65 billion with the reference price, because it's a direct listing, not an IPO or a SPAC, the uh, reference point is 250. So 250 is 65 billion market cap, um, not as crazy as people were talking when it was 100 billion and 400 million, uh, $400 uh, reference price, but there you have it. Ought to be pretty exciting, a lot of pros and cons on this one. Uh, the uh, bank earnings have come and uh, the first three, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Wells Fargo all beat both top and bottom line. Some are releasing back some of the uh, funds that it held in reserve uh, that were, uh, they were forced to hold in reserve as of last year. So uh, the um, action is kind of mixed. Uh, Goldman Sachs is up 1.8% or $5.82, while JP Morgan is down about a dollar or about uh, just under 1%. And Wells Fargo was down about 34 cents, is now up about a dime. So uh, we'll have to see how that shakes out. Um, Credit Suisse still has stock for sale from Archegos. I mentioned it last night. Uh, the big one, I guess, is um, Discovery. Discovery A, D-I-S-C-A, Discovery B, Discovery C, which is uh, D-I-S-C-K, all down in the 5% range. And IQ, another company uh, involved in this, uh, is 16 down about 66 cents or 4.3%. Uh, also on the earnings front, we had Bed Bath & Beyond, which uh, missed on uh, revenues and beat on earnings. Um, and the street does not particularly care for that. You know, this stock has uh, rocketed higher with a lot of the other retail stocks. But this morning, it's 2541. That's down 252 or 9 percent. And besides their miss, uh, they also guided lower. Uh, Moderna, which got a move to the upside yesterday on the J&J &J news, uh, is higher again today, up another $5.14, or 3.4%, saying that they are now using their uh, mRNA uh, platform uh, to attack flu and HIV. So uh, we'll see if they can be as successful there as they seem to be. Uh, with the COVID vaccine. As far as the markets, uh, the Dow is up about 25, the NASDAQ is up 38, the S&P is up about three, and uh, <clears throat> those moderate numbers uh, also mirror what's gone on in Asia and Europe following our action yesterday. So Asia and Europe up a little, uh, Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P up a little. Okay, just a couple of quick ones on the um, futures because uh, Dennis got in, got back into the uh, coffee and did quite well. If you read my comment on Sunday, you would have known that I said that we had you know, made a bottom in here, back at support. I've dri drawn this line straight across now for six months. Uh, we came back down to test that 120 area, spent three days there doing very little, and then uh, started with a move of up $4.75. Uh, we have a little bit of a running correction, no extensive moves until yesterday when we were up about uh, two cents on it. And this morning we have followed through with another 270. Uh, this probably will be a problem. Uh, we've gone from basically 120 to 135. Uh, that's seven and a half percent in a matter of days. We're back into resistance here at uh, these highs, which are 
135.60 and 135.65, and uh, that also is reflective of the area that we broke down from at 135.75 on the way back down. So uh, we'll have to see how that uh, turns out, but uh, Dennis was right on the money there, and so anybody who is interested in futures, don't hesitate to call. I'm happy to discuss it and uh, make the introduction. Uh, Bitcoin, as usual, I guess. <laughs> New high 65,520. Uh, last is 64,820, up 1,135. Again, I hate to sound like a broken record, but I don't see any reason for this not to be 68 to 70,000 in the near term. Uh, we are in uh, GBTC and we're also in uh, ETHE. ETHE is the Ethereum Grayscale Trust. And as everybody knows, uh, we've been in GBTC since it was uh, in single digits and the current position was put on at $18 and change and uh, right now we're trading around 55 bucks so have a good day be careful out there and I'll be back later